From a secret location in Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Well, do it live! Do it live! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-DOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Some things are politically incorrect. There are some things you're just not supposed to talk about. Some things you're not supposed to say. Now, that has never stopped me, and I have embarrassed all the people I work with repeatedly because uh, I will say absolutely anything. And in fact, stuff I would never say on the radio, I have said. I'm not going to say what it is I said or to whom because that would be like getting myself in trouble. But uh, there was that night at Channel 9 we were on the way out the door. <laughs> and I made uh, made a comment to somebody <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know he I couldn't tell if he was laughing or offended but uh, people I work with were very embarrassed that I did it but I did it and um, it's never stopped me from saying things that are politically incorrect. So I want to talk about something that you're not supposed to talk about. You think I am Imus? I know what I'm doing here. I'm going to talk about something you're not supposed to talk about. I'm going to talk about something that is, uh, well... Let's just say it's not considered to be polite, and uh, many people would consider it worse than that. I'm not saying this about any particular person. I'm not saying it about a specific group of people. I'm just saying we all know people like this. Isn't it true that some people are just stupid? They're stupid. Now, I know people like to use the word stupid. You know, you called your sister stupid, or you called your brother stupid, or you called the people you went to school with stupid. I'm not talking about using the word stupid as an insult. Some people are missing IQ points. They are really stupid. There are certain places you meet stupid people. Stupid people usually have the kinds of jobs that stupid people are able to keep doing. Now, I must say, in all seriousness, I would much rather deal with a retard than somebody who's stupid. Let me tell you why. Because generally, retards are relentlessly cheery. We've seen enough movies... Forrest Gump, Brain Man, you name them. They're generally very cheery guys. As long as, uh, you know, as long as they've got a routine going, they're fine. So I'd much rather deal with them. But like at your average DMV, those are not retards. Those are stupid people. Those are people with no ambition, no drive. No direction in life. No interest in how things work. They could very well have gotten knocked up or knocked somebody up at a very young age and been forced to take this relentlessly 
dreary profession of standing at counter K-21. By the way, here in California, you go to the DMV, it's like a bingo game. K-21? J-14? And the voice on the loudspeaker is like uh, that, that old movie uh, with Jack Nicholson, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I expect Nurse Ratched to be, uh, to be paged any minute. Just this, it, it's like a, a nonstop Kino game going on there at the DMV. They keep announcing these numbers. And then the relentlessly stupid are there to serve you. Let's face facts. If these people had any brains, they wouldn't be working at the DMV. That's just a make work uh, uh, profession, anyway. Let's let's be realistic. And I, you know, again, I know it's politically incorrect, but the truth has to be told. Let's take another place where the stupid are employed. Now, I'm not going to talk about your average letter carrier because your average letter carrier actually does have to have a brain. Uh, letter carriers have to frequently uh, figure out where letters are to be delivered. Many times the handwriting is bad or the address is garbled or they call it a lane instead of a court. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the letter carrier has to figure out where the letter goes. So speaking in all honesty to you, uh, letter carriers, in my experience, have been relatively bright when you consider the people at the uh, United States Postal Service. I'm talking about the people who work down there at the post office itself. Again, this is a make-work profession. It is a place where the relentlessly stupid go to work every day. I mean, if you had a brain, would you be working back there selling two-cent stamps? No. No, you. if you hadn't knocked up your girlfriend in high school... <laughs> Would you be back there? Seriously. And the, the problem I have with stupid people is that they've always, they, they're always copying an attitude. Like, they're smart enough to know they're stupid. They're smart enough to know you think they're stupid. But that's about as far as their intelligence goes. So, unlike retards who are relentlessly cheery, and therefore a pleasure to do business with when you, when you deal with one, uh, when you deal with the stupid, unfortunately, the stupid are just smart enough to know they're stupid and that you're smarter than they are. So you can feel the resentment when you come into the post office. You can feel it. You can feel it. The relentlessly stupid. When I was a kid, I was one of the, uh, one of those annoying kids. And of course, I've just grown up to be an annoying adult and I know that. But I was the kid with the high IQ in a public school classroom where they didn't know what to do with kids with high IQ. So you just kind of sat there and watched everybody else make fools of themselves. And you can't help noticing when you're a kid like that how school is dumbed down to the level of the stupidest member of the class. One of the reasons school is so boring is because there's always that one lump of coal sitting in the back of the classroom who still doesn't know, know how to make all 26 letters of the alphabet yet. And you're trying to learn history, you're trying to learn math or something. And uh, these people are just relentlessly stupid. And um, you just get tired of it because in reality there's more of them than there are of us. You know what I'm saying? There's more stupid people out there than there are People like you and me. If you're a stupid person, you would not be listening to this show. You might be a caller to this show, but you would not be a listener. But the fact is, there's an awful lot of stupid people out there. And the world is built around them, because there are so many of them. So whether it be TV commercials, head on, apply it directly to the forehead. Head on, apply it directly to the forehead. Head on, apply it directly to the forehead. Uh, so much of advertising is geared uh, at, at, at the stupid because the stupid are the majority. Stupid TV shows, stupid movies, stupid books, if you can call them books at all, just plain stupid. 
Seriously. I'm not kidding. It's just remarkable. And uh, so uh, your every day, uh, if you have half a brain, now I'm not giving these stupid that much credit. If you have half a brain, your day is continually dragged down by the ways that the earth has to conform to the majority who are just plain stupid. Have you noticed this? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I've been listening to you since I was a little pussy. What? And now I get all the tail I can possibly think of, man. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Everybody, that's right. The stupid. You're not allowed to talk about the stupid. What would happen in your office if you start saying somebody was stupid? That's a lawsuit waiting to happen, right? I mean, if somebody was stupid here, I wouldn't say it. Not even if I was standing behind him in the men's room with the phone in my hand. I wouldn't do it. That would be wrong. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Richie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tommy? <laughs> Not much, Richie. Oh, uh, dude, I heard your topic and I loved it. What I got to add is, you know when you pull up to a red light and you're going to make your right hand turn? When people just won't turn and just sit there until it's green like they're overcautious and they're just terrified to make a right on a red light. People that stupid shouldn't have licenses. Oh, let yes. Cars. Or some of them think that maybe they missed the sign that said no right turn on red. <laughs> Yeah. So exactly. they're not going to take any chances. Yeah, God forbid they get a seventy tick, seventy dollar ticket or something. How about the people who who like the? All right, so you're in the left turn lane. The left turn lane is the bane of my existence. <laughs> you're in the left turn lane. Now the whole world. Here's how we drive. When the light turns green and we're trying to make a left turn, we pull out into the intersection. And we wait uh, until we have an opening of traffic or until the light turns red again, and then we make the turn. That's correct. How about the people who don't even inch past the crosswalk? They stay right there in the left turn lane. Oh, bro, that drives me nuts. You got Everybody's got to inch forward because right when it goes yellow or red, that's when you make your duck, right? Right. <laughs> but these people are going to make sure that they're getting through, but you're not. Exactly. And these are the same people who drive, like have to have like every safety feature on their car, but can't like get you know can't press the gas pedal. <laughs> now I always wondered. Uh, I gotta speak honestly here. I always wonder what it's like to have one of these jobs for stupid people. <laughs> what it's like to go to work every day and do the same and not in this activity. You and, over and right, over. you and the other stupid people. Like years ago, you remember the people from the postal service were. Like uh, down in San Isidro, somebody shot up a McDonald's a couple of decades ago, or uh, yep. it was some postal worker, and postal workers came back to work after their shift was over, started blowing the place up and stuff. Hey, you wonder what it's like every day. You know, it's just a sad existence. We got four kids. <laughs> And here's the thing, We're, when we go in, we pretend we don't know why you're there. You know, like everybody deserves dignity, everybody deserves respect, but in reality, we're all thinking, we know why you're here. <laughs> we know. We know why you're working at the DMV. And it's not because, you, not because you have an interest in motor vehicles. Because that's where they, the only place they could get or the best they could get. Most people who work at the DMV never see a motor vehicle. <laughs> all they see is paper and rubber stamps. Yeah, and lots of bus passes. Uh, yeah, exactly. And the, and the, and, the, and they hear a lot of numbers being called out all day, like they're working in a casino, <laughs> like a big game of Keno or something. Exactly. But, uh, all right, Tommy. Well, I'm gonna get going. You take me out with uh, bong load and a thank you, Jesus. Here it comes, Richie. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tommy. Kevin. <laughs> hey, man. I I cracked up when I heard your topic tonight. It's just uh, too funny. I'm a, I'm a summer school teacher right now, and I've got a classroom full of those kids you're talking about. Oh, uh, and so these are the kids who didn't study hard or smoke too much weed during the regular school year. 
<laughs> yes, all of the above, no doubt. Right. Well, I, I just another little thing entered my head. I, I thought, you know, with all the repetition in, on your show and all the, the topics that you continue to have week after week, I, I was thinking you're you're probably going all the way to the bank on those stupid people. Oh, amazing, because people like you continue to listen, which is yeah. fantastic. Yes, exactly. It's very entertaining. Shouldn't man. be so hard on yourself, Kevin. I'm, I'm being exactly honest. You're right. <laughs> I'm, among, I'm among the most stupid. How's business done uh, at the DMV, by the way, Kevin? <laughs> i got to apply after summer school. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Kevin teaches summer school. Because he wasn't good enough to teach real school. It's like, what about the substitute teacher versus the teacher? Think about that for a second. The substitute teacher doesn't require the same uh, credentials in some school districts as the actual teacher. You're just required to wear that tie and show up with a stack of books. But come on, if you're the substitute teacher, nobody has the respect for you that they have for the teacher. They just don't. Never did, never will. one 800 800 tom It's Morris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, when this topic came on, uh, I perfect timing because I was going through a drive through And the thing that always bugs me when I go through a drive through is I'll say, can I get the number one? And they ask me, do you want the combo? Like, of course I want the combo. I said number one. <laughs> <laughs> and that can be that means one of two things. They're so stupid that they don't know that I want the combo, or two that so many stupid people come and can't name the sandwich, so they just say the name. Yes. Yeah. Oh, by the way, would you excuse me a second, Morris? I have right. to do. I have to do something here. No, uh, it just got to take me a minute. All right, give me a sec. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line, and we'll be right back with you. Hey, Dean, you better tell her I'm running late. I, I, I still don't know what time I'm going to get there. All right, thanks. All right, very good. Sorry about that, Morris. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about, Tom? I just wanted to let Dean know I'm running late, and I might not make the show on time. Uh, trying to play me for a super Tom. Uh, man, the one time I call in and get through, man. <laughs> Morris, I didn't mean to steal your thunder there. I just realized I hadn't called Dean lately to tell him I'm running late. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Hopefully he'll find a tape to play or something. Oh. Can you, uh... I don't even know where to take it from there, Tom. I was just going to need you to take me out. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Can you take me out? Match game with a bong rip. Match game with a bong rip. I, I think several people on the match game were taken out with a bong rip. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Diana. Of the Tom like his show. Hello. Yes. Hello, Tom. Um, I've listened to you for a while, off and on, but and I've never called. You have been for a long subject. time. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But this one subject, I really had to call in about. I'm in my phone driving home. You're in um, your phone. That's a big phone. Yeah, I'm. I'm. <laughs> At any rate, my daughter is a substitute teacher only because... She's not good enough to be a real teacher? <laughs> She's much better than that. She's a psychotherapist for abused kids. That's her regular career, which she has her license in and her master's and everything else. But the reason why she went and got her teaching credentials last year is because she has two little children that she wanted to teach on their same schedule. And she didn't. And to go back to being a psychotherapist, they wanted her full time. So would she say that all the other substitute teachers are just as brilliant as she is? It, that 
She's what? Saving all the other substitute teachers? I said... Hello? I said, are all the other substitute teachers just as brilliant? I really don't know if they are or not. You know, I'm not familiar with any, any other substitute teachers, but my daughter is a brain in honors in college and everything else. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's an occasional Rhodes Scholar who uh, works the window at Carl's Jr., too, but there just aren't that many. Well, you're probably right. But I just had to let you know that there are some that do have other degrees. And we only know of one, your daughter. And, we, and we're taking you at your word on that, by the way. Well, yes. And if she knew that I was calling you, she'd probably hit the ceiling. I'll but, bet she would. <laughs> yes, she would. Yeah. She doesn't even want me listening to you, so. <laughs> Is that so? Yep. <laughs> but you still do it anyway. Yes, yes, I do. When I'm driving home from the jail, by the way. You're driving home from jail? Yep, yep. Are you I on spend... work release? How's that working out? I work for the sheriff's department, and uh, I work five days in the county jail, five days a week. You know, my brother's a corrections officer, so is my sister-in-law. <laughs> well, I work in the nursing office. They, the... Oh, no. My brother works with hardened criminals. Yep, yep, with the hardened criminals. Yes. Most of them former radio station management, by the way. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, yes. At uh, any rate, you're you're quite amusing, quite frequently, and I and I do enjoy listening to you, but I don't always agree with you, and I guess you're used to hearing that. All right. Uh, well, that that's fine with me because you're not of the target demographic, so I'm really not concerned about that. <laughs> Uh, but a friend of mine loves you, so at any rate. Uh, Wait, what's her name? He. Oh. This guy, and he, he, he owns four apartment buildings, and, uh, he you know, he has a lot of money, but he, he still listens to you anyway. <laughs> Does he set up chicks with apartments? Pardon me? Does he set up chicks with apartments? Oh, I, <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Best way to have an extramarital affair is to own apartment buildings. Oh, yeah, right. Come on, no. sweetie, your apartment 2J starting tomorrow. Yeah, right, exactly, absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, I just wanted to let you know about the substitute teacher, my daughter maybe being the only exception, I don't know. There we go. Diana, thank you for that. Oh, boy. Hello. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Roman on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Big Tom. Roman. Short time, first time. Yes. Can't get enough of you, man. I have you at work. I have you in the car. When I get out of the car, I bring the radio inside and still listen to you. Wow. I uh, was calling because I worked at two different hospitals. And if you want to find dumb people, go find some nurses. Really? I get requisitions. I work in the pathology department. So I got a requisition that nurse actually spelled appendix D-I-C-K-S. <laughs> Oh, gallbladder, two words. So I asked her, I said, well, does the bladder have gall? Is that, <laughs> he's going to look at you. And Actually, she was talking about a punk rock group. <laughs> the appendix. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's just amazing. I work with these people. They've done the same thing for 10 years. Yes. They don't know anything about their job. <laughs> Nothing. Well, like wouldn't it make sense? Job. Think about this for a second. Wouldn't it make sense that a nurse is someone who's too dumb or uh, lazy to become a doctor? Well, they're a glorified rear end wiper. I mean, that's Ooh. about it. Ooh. You know, to me, I mean, and then phlebotomist, a glorified junkie. That's so right. No big deal. But these people that just will not, they're intent on being stupid. I mean, libraries are free. My sister and I used to get angry because we could only take out 12 or 14 books at a time. Yes. When we were kids. When I heard parents saying things or adults saying things I didn't understand, I opened the book. Because I didn't want to be the idiot not knowing what they are talking well, about. Well, one thing about nurses, uh, I've got to say this. One thing about nurses is that they, and this is important, they know the difference between an oral and a rectal thermometer. That's true, and I feel bad saying this because my mom... And that's what makes them professionals. I mean, I mean I'll, bet, I'll bet you don't know the difference. Uh, oh, I know the difference. What's the difference? Well, they go in two different areas. No. And you no. don't want to reuse them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't difference. deal with patients, man. I deal with tissue. I don't deal with live people. All right. <laughs> See, I, had a, I had a perfect joke, and you, you blew my punchline. 
Well, I'm Italian, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that explains everything. <laughs> Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. My ex-girlfriend, she said the biggest mistake I ever made was introducing you to Tom Likas, but it was the biggest gift that she ever gave me. It's the Tom Likas Show. Eight hundred five eight hundred top. We're talking about stupid people. They rule the world because they are the majority. They are everywhere. Robert on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Robert. Yeah, I want to agree with you one hundred percent on the stupid people of America and the youth in this country being as stupid as they are. Huh. How so? I, I, I think of my sister's friends a lot, and I drive her to her friends' houses. And these people can't even give you directions to their own freaking house. You Are you serious? Which way to go. They don't know which way is east, north, south, or west, and they can't even tell you which streets to turn on. Hey, you know, I, I have found a situation, and... Uh... I don't know if it's unique to Southern California because, you know, I've lived here 20 years. I don't know what people do in other parts of the country, but um, I have an experience with people who live, like, in the South Bay. And here, uh -huh. here's how people give directions. All right, like, you take the 405, okay, until you get to, like, Rosecrans. Uh-huh. All right. And you turn right over there, like, you pass the soup plantation, and it's just a couple of blocks down. You can't miss it. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's like, what? what is the exact street? Uh, I, I don't know. Well, what's the cross? I don't know. Exactly. What are your major cross streets? <laughs> I don't know. Right. We need better schools out here, Tom. I, I, You know what? I don't think it matters what school people go to. I think some people are just born stupid. I, I, I totally agree with you 100%. <laughs> you know, one day I called. Uh, th this happened years ago. One day I called information. And I asked for the phone number of Wells Fargo, and the person said, is that a business or a residence? <laughs> Gee, let's think about that one. Well, I need Mr. Fargo's home is what I need. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the bank. I want to speak to him at all. Yeah, Mr. Fargo. I'm sure I'll answer the phone. <laughs> anyway, yeah. well, I just wanted to let you know that I do agree with you that there's stupid people all over the country. And they are riddled in in our society. That's exactly right. Oh, and that last guy talking about nurses. You know, he if he wants to check on their grammar and their spelling, maybe he needs to stop saying library. <laughs> <laughs> or February. Or nuclear. <laughs> or any number of others. How stupid is this country? We elected a blithering idiot as president. I don't care what your politics are. I understand the popularity, for example, of Ronald Reagan, you know, and uh, uh, I, I uh, understand uh, why people loved him, okay? But, but although he might have been an old man and stuff, he wasn't a blithering idiot. <laughs> this guy's a blithering idiot, and, and, and we elected him twice. Uh, how about juries? I mean, come on. You know, anybody with half a brain knows how to get out of jury duty. The result is the morons control the jury system. Why do we get such stupid decisions in courts? It's because all of us with a brain go, um, I need to postpone my jury duty. I don't have time to get out of the jury pool. My, my boss needs me. And then um, the idiots who have nothing better to do, they're like, well, I'll, I'll go. And this is what you get. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Omar on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Hey. Uh, whatever. Hey, the thing that bothers me the most is when people use right now, no matter what tense they're talking in. Like if they say, I just did this right now. Well, did you just <laughs> do it or are you doing it right now, buddy? 
all day long when we're sitting there at equipment now. That's all they do on the phone. Oh. I just did this right now. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. How about anyway. the how about how about by the way and it, it by the way extends beyond just the average moron you meet cuz I'm convinced half the morons in the world work in the news business. Yeah. Because and I'll interview the retards too. How many times have you watched a newscast and they told you uh that a a a, a, a person was found dead in a pool of his own blood? <laughs> Now, in whose blood are you going to find them in a pool of? Right, somebody else's. How about people who say, in my own personal opinion? <laughs> yeah, who else's opinion? What do you usually do, borrow other people's opinions? In my own personal opinion. Your opinion is sufficient. That's right. Hey, Dom, can you take me out African tribal style? I certainly can. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's. Uh, by the way, CNN is doing a series. They're going to talk about uh, black in America. CNN. They're doing. They're going to rip the lid off this. First thing they got to do at CNN is find some black people in the newsroom to do the report. <laughs> CNN's going to tell you what it's like to be black in America. Okay. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. First time, long time. Thank you. Hey, what about? Uh, yeah, I mean, need to be smart people, but oblivious to everybody around them. They could like be, you know, walking into a Starbucks and the people in line, and they walk right up to the counter to take their order. <laughs> what I mean, is it with people? By the way, let's take Starbucks as an example. Of course, okay. at lines Any of Starbucks are becoming an endangered species, but all right. Uh, you're at Starbucks. What is it with people who stood in line for the last 15 minutes waiting to order? And well, then no. they get to the front, and the person says, Hi, welcome to Starbucks. May I help you? And the person goes, I don't know. Oh, what do I do. want? Like, like, the menu isn't large enough so you can see it if you're five people out. Maybe <laughs> you can make your mind up before you get to the front of the line, you idiot. No, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But oblivious people are just as dangerous as the stupid people. Oh. I mean, stupid runs the planet. I know that. You know, the fact is, everywhere. But oblivious can be really, really even worse, because they're just, like, oblivious to anybody around them except them. It's these Prius-driving, ponytail-wearing guys that think oh, they're... Oh, we're already... You know, Prius has been out for a minute and a half. We're already stereotyping all the Prius owners. <laughs> hey, I, I don't like them either. Uh, but, the, yeah, you know, what I don't oblivious. like is... The uh, the SUV owners are the worst. I'm sorry, they're they're worse than Prius owners. They're worse. Well, at that uh, four fifty nine a gallon, yeah, they are right now. All right. So you know, hey, but it's just the fact is, I mean, there's stupid people everywhere, and you're right about that. They're sitting in line, and they won't even decide what they want before they get up there. They do this everywhere. They do it at, at every fast food restaurant, every coffee shop, and and smoothie bar that there's around. They're dumb, and it affects everyone. <laughs> and it makes me late. That's what it is. I understand. Brian, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Nick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. And I'm not going to say how are you. I think if anyone got the last 20 calls, they could already figure that out. <laughs> you I would think. You about George Bush. He's not dumb. He's playing it off. He's doing exactly oh, no. what he wants to do to the economy. No. No, I don't believe that for one second. Really? You just think he's a blithering idiot? He's huh? a blithering idiot, and he is uh, a perfect match for the average blither average blithering idiot who has the right to vote. Well, I'll tell you, uh, you have a point about this being a nation of idiots, because whenever I go to Europe, the IQ count goes up 300%. Oh, yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt. And by the way, I've spent uh, about 11 weeks in Europe in the past year, and let me tell you something, pal. When you go to Europe, it feels like, oh, my God, I feel like I had a brain transplant. All these people talking about books and movies and, and politics oh, yes. and what's happening. They know more about <laughs> our political system than we do. That, that's sad. Yeah, and they don't use uh, overused words like like and awesome like they're a bunch of dumb valley girls. Yeah. I and mean, everywhere I go, everyone's saying like and awesome. What happened? Did it turn into a, a nation of retarded Valley Girls or something? And that's just on the CBS <laughs> Evening News. <laughs> it's getting bad. <laughs>
I think the genetic IQ count is just uh, what deteriorating. Or well, something. that's that's why my business has been so good for so long. You got a good point. I love the, those tenets of Lycus. I've been uh, sending them to friends of mine, and they're laughing their heads off because it is the American woman is the worst one to go for. Absolutely oh. the worst. The, and the, the younger and prettier they are, the dumber they are. Yes, I'm banking on it. <laughs> it's like it's like a torture from God. <laughs> because women are only as intelligent as they have to be. Well, yeah, well, you can meet really interesting ones if they're fat or, or really ugly or grotesque. Yes. And, and then, of course, you don't want to have sex with them, but they're funny. By the way, there's nothing misogynistic about this. It's a plain fact. Women are as intelligent as their looks require them to be. So then you agree with um, the idea that feminism was a way for women, uh, unattractive women to get into the mainstream of society? Well, I know you're quoting Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> you no, know, I don't like the guy, but I thought that was... But funny. it is, you know, I can't disagree with him on that. About, about the only thing I do agree with him on. Price, well, there you go. Yeah, but yeah, we're in really sad shape here. Well, that and work. a cigar box is a great way to carry your cabbage when you're going to Denny's parking lot to pick up drugs. <laughs> Probably. Now, I'll tell you this much, though. I work as a uh, live-in private duty nurse. I'll tell you how dumb people are. It, it, once a person gets to be a certain age, they should give up smoking, eating meat, unless they want to have their colon and arteries clogged so bad that they turn into a geriatric freak with a low IQ. <laughs> I guess I guess there's a certain amount of truth to that too. Thanks for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Johnny on the Tom Likas show. Hello, uh, Tom. Big fan. Yes. Big fan. Hey, great topic for the show, man. Uh, I usually go uh, grab a sandwich instead of going through the drive-through. You know, I go up and order uh, through the counter. They still end up effing it up. I said, no cheese, no tomato. What uh, what comes back to me? Cheese and tomato. I was at uh, this one restaurant, and I literally threw a tomato on the napkin, and I told the manager, look, I said, no cheese, no tomato. Look, look at my sandwich. You and know? then, you know, my favorite is when they get pissed at you. Yeah, I was like, hey, I'm going to go ham straight in my money. You know, you got to tell these people two, three times. Even when I go out to breakfast, I tell the waitress, no uh, ham omelet, no cheese. Uh, five minutes later, I get it with cheese. Said, Jesus Christ, I told you three times. You know? <laughs> Even uh, when I go out to uh, uh, a theater with a girl, just by myself, you know, I think it's a slow up service. But Jesus Christ, there's stupid people everywhere. Yeah. Well, if you go to your average uh, sporting event, how hard is it to sell people two hot dogs and two beers? Oh, I was at the uh, I was at the Angels game, uh, the, the suite over at Fourth of July. I told a guy, yeah, two Coors Lights uh, and a Heineken. I'm a Heineken man. The guy goes three uh, three Coors Lights. I said no, two. Uh, Two course lights and a Heineken. I mean, they're everywhere, Tom. I'm, I'm sick of it. <laughs> Thank you for that. I mean, w when did uh, selling hot dogs and beer become brain surgery? Why is it when you go to a sporting event, it takes three hours? You're behind two people. It takes three hours uh, to get to the front of the line. What is that all about? Stupid. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, brother? I'm okay, Tony. I was uh, dating this chick for a long time, and you know those those bus benches on the side of the road that says rent a bench? Well, this chick tells me, looks at it, and says, I don't understand. Why would anybody want to rent a bench and bring it into their home? <laughs> I said, I looked at her and just said, you got to be kidding me. Are you retarded? This this chick, you know, she is just so stupid. After that, I broke it off of her. I just couldn't deal with that anymore. You well, know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna it's it, it's in other walks of life too. Uh, yeah, people exactly. Put, I'm, I'm gonna tell you about a sign I saw. I swear I saw a sign. It was in New York outside of Shea Stadium, and here's what it said. And I'm not kidding. It said, "Emergency exit, not to be used under any circumstances." <laughs> Well, what about an emergency, you moron? <laughs> and and they and they have it posted that big so everyone can see it. Oh yeah. Oh man, yeah. There's a there's a lot of stupid people out there. Oh, you're not kidding. And thank God for that. That's where my Christmas bonus is coming from. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likey Show.